Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Rand Paul again. Um, we're going to do this because he sent out a tweet. He tweeted out an article and typed out a, uh, a quote from it. And we're going to talk about that quote, what it means, um, and then we're going to talk about why the conservatives and Republicans in the United States tend to view this the way they do. So what did he say? He tweeted out, quote, how to steal an election. And then this is where the beginning of the, the quote from the article comes in. Seeding an area heavy with potential Democratic votes with as many absentee ballots as possible, targeting and convincing potential voters to complete them in a legally valid way, and then harvesting and counting the votes. That's not stealing an election. <laughs> That's winning one. That's just, you know, rocking the vote, getting the vote out, increasing voter participation, something that most people believe is inherent uh, to... To like a functioning democracy. You want to have a whole bunch of people participating in the system. Therefore, they have faith in the system. Therefore, the system continues to function. And you don't have a bunch of people say, I don't know, on the Capitol lawn. Um, that, that's what that is. Voter fraud, it, it, these claims are baseless. It, it, they've been litigated over and over again. They're not real. There's no widespread voter fraud. There's no way to say that. And I don't think that he actually believes that there is. See, I think that he's very, very concerned that if you, if you get votes from people who are typically non-voters, that it will affect and change the outcome in a, in a way that's bad for his side because his side has a bunch of dated policies that are generally bad for the working class, those people who have a hard time getting to vote because they have to be at work, and they basically rely on voter suppression to, to, to maintain their position of power. Now, the reason I believe this is because last December he said, I'm very, very concerned that if you solicit votes from typically non-voters that you will affect and change the outcome. He knows that this isn't fraud. He knows it's not stealing an election. It's winning one. This is why the Republican Party is so determined to gerrymander. They have uh, their ideas, their aggressive nature, failing to move forward with the rest of the world, with society, those positions have alienated a lot of people. And then, through a lot of bad talking points and political miscalculation, they wound up getting hundreds of thousands of their voters off the voter rolls permanently, um, and they're in a bad way. So now the Republican Party has to find some way to gerrymander, to, who, to suppress the vote to affect the outcome of the election before it happens through legislation because they know that if they had widespread voter participation, they would lose in a landslide because their votes are uh, not what they once were. They don't have the support that they used to. They have a very vocal minority of people who, who support them. And then they have a whole bunch of people who can't make it to vote. So making it easier for those people to vote, to participate, to exercise their rights, to have a voice in the government, well, that's bad because it subverts their hold on power. It has nothing to do with stealing an election. It has to do with the Republican Party refusing to grow up refusing to move forward, sticking with dated ideas that nobody wants. They can't win without this. They can't win 
without suppressing the vote. They can't win if there's widespread participation. It's that simple. There's no voter fraud. There's no attempt to steal an election. That's not a thing. They just can't win in a fair one. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.